Good morning, everybody. Welcome to chapel. Next week will be a slightly different style of chapel service as we'll be having our annual Leavers Chapel service. And so this is the last of what you might think of as our normal weekly videos. I was wondering what to talk about and I'd like to think this morning about a story that I've told you um, before in chapel, but it seems to fit very well with the fact that we suddenly find ourselves at the end of another academic year. And this is the story of a man called Joshua. Joshua was the helper to Moses. They come in the first half of the Bible, right back near the start of the Bible. And some of you may remember the story of Moses. Moses being born as a baby and kept safe in a basket in the bulrushes, and then growing up as a slave in Egypt and leading the people across the Red Sea and through into the wilderness where they wandered for many years before they reached the Promised Land. During the time that Moses had been doing this, he had Joshua alongside him, helping him and supporting him. And then before they reached the land that God had promised to them, everything suddenly changed for Joshua because Moses died. And Joshua found himself in charge, having to lead the people. It's at this point of change when Joshua must have been feeling all sorts of emotions that God speaks to Joshua and says some words to him which I think are good words for us to be reminded of at times of change. These are the words that God says. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Over the last three months, I think it's fair to say we've faced more change than we might have imagined at the start of 2020. If you had asked me on January the 1st what I thought the year had in store, I don't think I would have come anywhere close to predicting a global pandemic. We've seen the school closing and everyone adapting to online lessons and adjusting to the new normal, whatever that is. And outside of school also, on a country level and, and a global scale, as we remember that we're an international school, we've seen so many changes in the way we do things and there's lots of speculation, isn't there, in the news and in the press about whether things will ever go back to the way they were before. And just like I'm sure Joshua must have been daunted at the prospect of what laid ahead, him, led, laid ahead of him, so we might feel like that too, with all the uncertainty and lack of knowledge as to how things are going to turn out. But equally like Joshua, we can hang on to the words that God spoke to him. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. It doesn't mean that changes won't happen, that everything will suddenly just become straightforward and easy. Just instead that we're not tackling these things on our own, we're not relying on our own strength, but instead we can rely on God to help us and face them with us. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever we go. So let's say a prayer about that now. Dear God, we thank you for the words that you spoke to Joshua to be strong and courageous and for the reminder that you are with us wherever we go. Help us to hang on to that promise still today, knowing that whatever we face, we face it with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And let's say together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>